Hello, this is Bob Jackson uh, with SC202. This is uh, still week one. We've got several videos for week one to get everything going. Um, after this week, there you won't have nearly as much by any means. Okay, but uh, anyway, this video is for showing you how to set up a course on Moodle. Okay. Uh, the requirement for this term is going to be that you're going to create a course on Moodle, which is a learning management system. Okay, I'm going to use Moodle because I cannot use Canvas for this term. I've been approved to use Canvas for next year because St. Mary the Woods College isn't even officially using Canvas yet. Uh, they will be the learning management system for some classes starting January of this year, but for most classes starting fall of next year. So with this, with that being what it is, I can't use Moodle or I cannot use Canvas with you or with this course until next fall. So I used to work for Rose, Rose Holman and I worked for the department that we provided the Moodle LMS for teachers. So I taught teachers how to use Moodle. So I've got permission and can use Moodle with you guys. Okay, which it is a high quality um, learning management system. And it is used throughout the world. Actually, as far as the world is concerned, it is the most popular learning management system in the world. Now, as far as the United States and particularly Indiana and colleges around here, Canvas is the most popular and also with high schools. Canvas is the most popular um, besides high schools that are just using Google Classroom. A lot of them are just using Google Classroom, which Google Classroom is really not a learning management system. Okay, so let's get started. I wanna show you how to get your course set up and that's all I'm gonna require that you do this first week. Starting next week, I'll start having you put some stuff into your course that hopefully one day you can use with students. So what I want you to do, you're going to go to www.rose-prism.org, okay? And you can go slash M-O-D-L-E if you want to. But if you just go to roseprism.org, it'll also take you there. Okay, you get, to the, you get to the page, you're going to see this. Okay, now then the first thing that you need to do, and I've got to, log out. It's got me logged in. I stay logged in all the time, I guess. Okay, the first thing that you have to do is create an account. Okay, so you're going to go on here, you, where it says on the left-hand side here, and click on create an account. You're going to put your name in. Make yourself a password. Okay, you'll put the password in twice. Be sure and remember it. If not, they got a lost password connection. Okay, you're going to put in your email. Please use your St. Mary the Woods College email. That's why I've got you approved to use the system. It's actually just free for teachers in Indiana, K-12 through teachers in Indiana. Um, but I've got it approved to you as a student at St. Mary the Woods College. You're going to be able to use it. And actually for as long as you want to after the fact. Okay, so put in your SMWC email here. Okay. You're going to, of course, do elementary as far as your grade levels. I thank all of you, unless some of you are going to do middle school and go to middle school endorsement. For a position, you can put student teacher if you want to, because that's what you're going to be. Uh, eventually, hopefully, you're going to be a teacher. And then you're going to go science. If you want to use it for math and some of your other areas, you can. I don't care. And I know uh, the guys at uh, Rose Holman wouldn't care. So if you don't use it for any of those, do your image verification here, put your numbers in, and then you need to do the rest of this down here at the bottom. Go country, which is going to be United States, state. I think the most of you are going to be Indiana, but I think if you have, you're outside of Indiana. So put whatever your state is. If you're outside of Indiana, I think you're going to be done right there with this. One. But if you're in Indiana, you're going to go affiliate type, you're going to go college or university, and then go county which St. Mary of the Woods College, even though you guys are out there 
wherever, Indianapolis or around the state, wherever, uh, go ahead and put Vigo because that's where St. Mary the Woods College is. Okay. And then if they get to put in in time, you can select it down here, but I won't have them put St. Mary the Woods College down here. Uh, but they're not right now. So you're just going to leave that blank and then click submit. Okay. Now then mine's not gone because I didn't put anything in because I've already got an account. Okay, so now then, once you've got it in, then you're coming back to this page, put in your username, which is going to be your email address and your password, and you're going to log in to PRISM. Okay, and then once you're on this page, we're going to create your first course for an LMS, unless you've done one before. Okay, so to create a course, you're going to go to create a course, you're going to click right here on create a course and go to that page, okay? And then you're gonna start filling it out. Now I'm gonna cheat because I've got a course started that I just wanna use, okay? So you're looking at this, okay? You're gonna put in a name for your course, like you could go Miss um, Whittier, Miss um, whatever, whatever, your, whatever your names are, whatever you wanna be called as a teacher, put it that way, okay? and your elementary science curriculum. You already can say elementary science course uh, and elementary science content. I don't care whether you call it curriculum or content or course, I don't care. Go a full name, the short name. The short name is what's gonna appear on a menu for you uh, when you get, when you get, uh, when you sign into PRISM and you get more than one course, uh, the short name will appear in that menu uh, so you can find your courses easier. Okay, so it, it, you don't see it as anything right now, but you can shorten the name up. A lot of times I'll go shorter than this and just go like um, Mr.J.L.Si. Something like that. Just not short that you will recognize as your course. Okay, the rest of this you don't have to worry about for now, but if you end up using this, in the next few years for teaching a course, you can change these dates here for the course to appear online to students. You can pick a start date and end date. That's what we do with all of our courses like on D2L here. Okay, but you don't have to do anything with that right now. Just leave it alone. Then you come all the way down here, go to course format. On course format, please, let's all choose collapse topics. That way all our courses will look the same. It is by far the most common when used. Okay, you can use a weekly format, which is like, I, it'll set your course up like an itinerary. Um, I don't know that for elementary, that's the best to use. If you're teaching a college class, maybe, uh, or a high school class, collapse topics, because it's gonna close things up into modules on, uh, on your course. So click collapse topics. Uh, we're gonna, Start out with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, sections. Change this to seven. And we can add more or less. Take some out if we need to future. You're not going to touch any of the rest of this. If you really get into um, course design, you can get in some of these said it'll just change the appearance of your course and put some color in your course and, and make it look a little, little more creative. We're not going to do that now because you can get caught up way into course design. We're going to mess with course design too much. Then I want you to come down to appearance. Down here, you come all the way down, you find appearance, and you're going to select boost. Okay, there's only two choices, classic and boost. Okay, do not force isn't really a choice. Okay, select boost. Okay. And then once you got that in, don't worry about the rest of these settings, go save and display. Now then you have your course made. Now then I'm gonna change this real quick because I already had it made and I wanna take it away so I can show you how to do it. Just wait on a second here. I'm gonna I'm gonna make all this disappear so I'm gonna show you how to do it rather than how it be done. Okay. So now then 
Okay, so you have, the name looks like this. You should have, these are your modules for your course down here. Section one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, so first let's get us a course header. Okay, now you're just not gonna say anything here. Okay, but I'll show you how you get it there. Okay, so what you do, okay, you come up here, you click on turn editing on. Okay, before you can ever do anything on your course from now on, you gotta come up here, turn editing on. And then you're gonna come down here, you see the little gear cog here. Okay, as long as we're all on a boost setting, we're all going to see the same things. If you're not seeing a gear cog here, then you weren't on a boost setting. You set your course up something different, and you will see probably a button over here to change what I'm doing. Okay, but I'm going to click on this. Now it's going to open up this HTML box that I'm going to make a course heading for my course. Okay, so in this, okay, um, first of all, this appeared blank. Okay, like that, and you can put what you want to kind of call your course. I call it, I had this as elementary science curriculum. So it's going to be my science curriculum for my elementary classes I'm teaching, if I was teaching them. Okay, so you type that there. Now, then what I like to do in my course heading is put a picture or a diagram or or something, even a picture of yourself, if you want. Uh, something, a picture of your textbook. A lot of them will put a picture of their science textbook. So that puts that front and personal to parents out there and shows them what book they should be using. You can make it what you want. So what I do is I'm going to put a picture. I put a caricature that I usually go out on Google or whatever and get it. I put one on my desktop. I'm going to go get it. Okay. Um, Remember, I'm course header, that's it right there. So I'm just going to click it here. Okay, when it, um, I'm going to go in. Oh, because I had it there. Okay, so then when it comes in, you're going to see it like this. Okay, you can change the size of it here. Okay, I'm also show you another way and change the size here in a minute. Because a lot of people don't have any idea what numbers here. Usually the number is going to be under 500. Okay, somewhere in the 200 and 300 and so forth. This image, I've got 310 by 430. If you make them too big, they blow the whole page up and make it for so goofy. Okay, it's going to want you to put something in here uh, for description. I'm just going to call um, course header image and go save image okay now then it just put now then if it didn't go to the center then you go up here if you click on this arrow and you'll see here's your settings here this is for centerment this is taking it to the side to the side center okay so now i got it centered now then what i like to do is put a title underneath that or Whatever the name of my course is, I'm on Mr. Jackson's moves, Jackson's science curriculum, or you can say science course or science content, whatever you want to call it. Hey, I didn't make that bold. I'm going to make it bold by doing that. Okay. Now, in this menu up here, as you've done different things on the middle, this has all different things that you can do on it. Like if I wanted to, embed this and put it to uh, a link. I could put a link here to take to my profile or whatever in the, you know, on the school web page. I could do that. Okay, or I could do the same thing to an image. Go a URL there and embed it. Okay, there's several different things. You can go uh, emoticons, emojis, and so forth here. If you want to spice things up by putting those types of things in, it's here. You can even put recorded messages if you wanted to behind images and different things. You can even put video, little short video clips, okay, into several different points of course. Okay, I'm, I'm just telling you to show you that kind of stuff. But then I go save changes. There's my course. I have my course set up right there. Okay, then I go down to my sections or my modules. They call it sections on the middle. I call it modules in like D2L. 
and you're going to give names to these, and it makes it nice and easy on Moodle. You're just going to click on it and give them a name. Like I'm going to call my first module Getting Started. Okay, and that's where I want to put, where you can put instructions for parents. You can put the textbook. You can put um, the academic standards and so forth in that section. But we're not going to do all that now. We're just going to get the section set up. Okay, and then we're going to have a section for earth sciences. Okay, and then weather and climate. These are going to be each of the units that we're going to cover during this term. Okay, that you're going to populate with resources to use with your students in the future. And then earth waters. And we want to change that a little bit. Earth's waters and uh, water cycle. Okay. Oops, I didn't save it. Okay. And you notice if you click on these, you open them up after you done this. Okay. And then and please make all these the same for all of the nature of living things and the history of life. Then ecology and the environment. And on each one of these, be sure and uh, click on enter because if you just escape, it won't save, you'll find out. And then human biology. I think that's where we'll be ending. Okay, those are all your modules. You have a course set up and we're gonna stop there for now for the first week. And if you'll get that done and you submit your URL of your course, that'll be this up here, you copy and paste it onto an email and send it to me, tell me that you have your course shell set up. I will give you the points for the first week of getting your course set up. Next week, we're gonna start putting stuff into the course as far as content, okay? And uh, that should do it for this week. And uh, I'll be uh, looking forward to seeing your courses. Okay, thank you.